The massive 10-engine Convair B36 bomber has two pressurized crew compartments at either ends of the plane. At the front, all of the flying and bombing takes place, while at the back is a space for sleeping for what could be 40-hour journeys and a few more guns. But in the middle was a massive bomb bay able to fit the huge 42,000-pound or 19-ton Mark 17 atomic bomb and even a parasite fighter. To move between them was an 80 foot long and 2 feet wide pressurised tunnel which you can see up here and now I'm going to take you through it. Now I have stuck my head into one of these before and taken some photos but never gone the full length as I'm told it can be quite claustrophobic. We will start by entering the forward cabin, sneaking up through the crew entry via the wheel well. Now I do take you through a more detailed tour explaining every station in another video which I'll link to but this is just going to be for the tunnel. And a huge thanks to the Strategic Air Command and Aerospace Museum near Omaha for letting me inside to film this aircraft. First, here's an access door which can get you into the Bombay mid-flight, for example if you wanted to get on board the Parasite Fighter, which I also look at in another video, or to manually release the munitions. We're instead going to go through the crew tunnel, which is on the port side of the aircraft. Looking in, and it's very much like a green MRI scanner. Above are grab handles to help you get into place on top of the trolley below that, and there's a handbrake lever that doesn't really work, and above you is a rope to pull yourself along. Now sit back and watch a grown man moan and sigh for the next few minutes and a few other thoughts. Great, thank you. Oh. So here I am from within the tunnel. Let me spin the camera around. There's my feet and then way down the end is where I'm going. And this rope here is what I'm using to pull me. So let's start the journey along this 80 foot tunnel. Uh, now stopping here, you've, I mean it's hard to see with the reflections, but you've got the weapons bay in there. Oh, still here. If I don't get reflections from the um, light, you can kind of see in the weapons bay there. Sort of, it's not the best. Well, let's continue the journey. Now, it's really interesting doing this as an av geek. Uh, it's really exciting going inside this aircraft, which I've uh, read books about ever since I was a child, but you can imagine that back at the time when we were actually in the middle of the Cold War, it would have actually been pretty terrifying for the crew. It would have been noisy, cold, and there was always the risk that you could have been shot out of the sky at any time. It's hard to, hard to sort of fathom when living is pretty safe these days, but in any moment you could have just suddenly found yourself on the outside of the plane going towards the ground so it's incredibly brave what those people were doing now I can feel that it's a bit more resistance now the uh, there's an incline in fact if I stop I actually start to roll back down so that's what I'm working against the other thing since I've still got quite a fair way to go is as you can probably tell by my mangled use of the English accent I'm not American I'm from Australia and I'm so um, impressed by how nice and accommodating everyone has been whenever I come on these trips. I've got staff here today just giving up their entire day just to help me film it and bring you these videos. There's, there's so much negativity in the, the media and social media about the United States but whenever I come here I'm always amazed at how friendly and hospitable and 
generous everyone is. I'm sure it's similar to what my uh, both, grandpa gr both grandparents would have experienced when they were fighting alongside Americans during World War II. So um, I'm very grateful for the experience I have here and, and how kind everyone is. It's amazing. And, oh, and I've come to the end. Oh, now let's oh, try, oops, don't break the camera. Oh, now. See if I can get out now. Check to make sure my head's still there. Yep, still there, that's very bright. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can actually get out of here. Oh, wow. oh, I thought I was fit till I did this. Oh. 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 Oh, there we go. That's uh, there's a uh, 80 feet. <laughs> what an experience! Oh gosh. Now, now, uh, oh, <laughs> now I've got to go back. Right here. <laughs>